Oh, it's Penny Snaker here with another figure review. Today we have got playing currently on your YouTube NECA Player Select Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver Raziel. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd try a new intro to my figure, see if I can spice things up a bit. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it or not, because it kind of like rips my throat to pieces. Uh, no, not really. It's actually quite easy to do. I can do it whenever I like. I just don't know if it sounds cool or really, really sad. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I posted on my Facebook which out of my kind of massive collection of figures that need to be reviewed what my friends and followers and other geeky people would like to see next and while Kratos did get quite a number of votes Raziel seemed to be the most popular one and my god what a figure I have been wanting this figure for such a long time so long really I, I can't imagine um, I wish I got it where it first came out and it was quite cheap but I always plan to make my own one and while I did have several ideas for my own one, it just never really happened. So when I finally decided to start collecting video game characters again, because I kind of started and stopped and started and stopped, and this time I'm actually going to follow it through and see what I can get. I've got quite a few so far. Anyway, moving on. Raziel. I got this guy off of eBay. I got him from the eBay... I got him from the eBay seller. Back Yunuf. Yeah. B-A-K-U-R-E-N-O-H. And I paid more than I'd honestly like to pay for this figure, but it's a partial custom. And I actually really like what he did. I, I initially, when he said that he's done this, I didn't notice when I actually won it. I didn't read the description. I'm so bad for reading descriptions on uh, eBay. But um, yeah, I didn't actually even notice. And then, like he said, oh, I've customed this. And I was like, oh, oh, I kind of want an original. Um, do you have the other parts that I can put on? that I can retouch. He said, yeah, I can send you them, but I personally think these ones are better. And i got to agree with him. These ones are much better. And I'll go over that in a bit. But anyway, I paid £43 for this guy and then a postage of £6. And yeah, I'm really happy with him. Like I said, definitely one of my more expensive figures and I didn't really want to go that high, but Raziel is one of my all-time favourite characters and Soul Reaver is one of my all-time favourite games. Legacy Game is one of my all-time favourite game series. Um, but the Soul Reaver's Particularly one and two, just what I thought were amazing games, and I love them. I can't play them enough. They're kind of side by side with my, my love for Metal Gear. There is a variant of this figure which comes in his kind of a bit more astral projection, and it's on the back of the box, which I will show you in a second. But there's also another company which made the Raziel figure, and that is made by BBI or Blue Box Interactive. And while the figure does look pretty decent, I do think that NECA did do a much better job. Not that I have that one to hand to show you, but. I think it does look very cool. Now, let's just take off his little stand here. The modifications, which has been done, is the wings. That is pretty much fundamentally it. And there's a few other bits he's thrown in, but I'll show you that in a bit. So yeah, we have a nice soft rubber translucent wings. And I think they look really cool and they hang really nicely. Very much realistic to how they do in the game. The ones that come with him are these ones. You see he's just cut them off. Now they are were there and they were on a hinge. So when they were down, they kind of overlap like that. And then when you wanted them out, you could do that. Which is cool. I will give NECA that. It was a very cool feature. Um, but I honestly do like this custom idea a lot better. I think they look just really, really cool. Loving it. These ones are, although they're softer plastic, they're still very firm. No real ply in them whatsoever. They are slightly softer, and they are really well detailed. I mean, they've got some nice paint apps, some nice sculpt going through. But they've got some purple. I don't remember him his wings being purple, like, at all. Which is really weird, because there's no purple throughout the rest of the figure, just the wings. So I found that an interesting thing that NECA did. So that's the only one modification, is the wings. Um, I'm sure that he is exactly as NECA made him. But what I said, he gave some extra stuff. I'm going to call that guy back so what back gave me was some extra wings although we have the Raziel with the custom wings we also get a cool spear from the first and second game I believe not just that 
Now this only comes with the uh, BBI version. This does not come with the NECA one, so that's very cool. Now the NECA one does come with a torch, but the BBI one also comes with a torch. I personally think the NECA one looks better, but I'm really happy that he chucked this in. He didn't need to throw these extra bits in. He could have sold them separately. Um, <laughs> it's quite a difference there. That looks really cool. That looks a bit weird. But, you know, this, this figure is a lot older. The BBI one is a lot, lot older. I don't know exact dates of when it came out, but I do know it's a lot older than the NECA one. So it's cool they threw them in. I'll go over these in a bit more detail. I just want to show you what else he's thrown in. Now, on to Raziel himself. Um, this figure was a bit bigger than I was expecting, but I still think it's such an awesome... Oh, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just blown away. I love this figure so much. I really I love this character. I do have, like, one stroke two gripes with with this figure um it's kind of a usual gripe i get with uh most figures and that is his hips but we will go over that in articulation and his knees uh i guess maybe his ankles as well but again we'll go over that in articulation okay so details baby as you can see he's sporting this uh cape wrapped around him which is very iconic to the actual character very, very cool and for those of you who haven't played soul river what have you been doing go and play it go 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 um great games go play them soul river 1 was on ps1 dreamcast and pc soul river 2 was on ps2 and i think pc and then soul river defiance was on pc and xbox original and ps2 yeah it was ps2 as well go play them great games great story you don't need to play legacy of kane in order to follow them um so don't worry about playing them. You can if you want, but I'm just saying you don't need to. The story is kind of self-explanatory, and it does have a lot of back history, which you will they do explain. The reason why I just explained about going to play the games because if you haven't played the games, so you're going to find the next part I'm about to show you very weird. This is a softer rubber, and it is removable. And I'm going to take it off to show you him himself. So the head just pegs off, and then it pegs back on, and then there you go. Now. For those of you who haven't played the games, prepare to be surprised. Boom! <laughs> yep, that's right. Raziel is missing his lower jaw. But I'm not going to tell anything about that. So, this, like I said, is very softer rubber. So, it doesn't really get hinder in the articulation at all. And it's really well sculpted. It's got some great texture going all the way throughout it. Bit of paint uh, shading in there as well, which is really cool. And these lines, I think, are painted really well. Bit of uh, wear there, maybe. And a bit of a bleed up there, maybe. But very, very cool. I always loved how these kind of came from his eyes. Very convenient. How he just throws it around his shoulder and that's how it lands. But still, looks very, very cool. So it's him. This head sculpt. Man, just look at this head sculpt. It is amazing. So menacing. So just awesome. The hair, as you can see, is also a softer rubber, so it's a bit quite flexible. Kind of like how it's a bit swept aside, but I kind of would also liked it just to be a bit straight down like that. But it's cool, it looks good. Awesome sculpts on the hair, the ears, the eyes, everything just looks absolutely amazing. And then all of his muscles are really sculpted and so beautifully. They've all got this nice sculpted line to them, so you can actually really see all the tendons and muscles, like your skin has actually kind of been burnt away. And all that's left is the muscles, but they're blue, for whatever reason. And then there's kind of like, underside of him, it, look how skinny he is. It's like almost like his ribs there, or his spine, like a double spine, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it just looks cool. Detail on his bandages going around his arms, his claws, just truly epic. There's like leather, boot things, and then his nails or his claws again, just truly, truly, absolutely epic. NECA have really outdone themselves on this sculpt, it's just amazing. Now, I didn't show you there because I took it off but his head that just come off it's not just on a simple peg like that grab his little cape thing scarf thing put it over and then just line the head back up make sure the nose is inside and then that just goes back on like that 
And like I said, it doesn't hinder at all with articulation. So that's really good. Right, while we're zoomed in, let's go over accessories. Now Raziel comes with a total of four hands. He has these two open hands like this. This one is for the Soul Reaver. If I just grab the Soul Reaver quickly and show you, it just goes in between them two claws and it grips like that. And it's a really solid grip actually. It is very, it does take a bit of pull to snug it out. I'm pretty sure you can't put the other hand in there. I haven't tried actually. Yeah, it's just not designed. But, so as for his right hand, this open one, that is fundamentally for the Soul Reaver. Left hand for nothing really. But really well sculpted, claws look awesome, the bandages look amazing. And then he has these two articulated hands, where the claws are actually on a hinge. Just these two, the thumb's not, same on this side. And you can probably guess by the big peg hole there, that these ones, if I grab the torch, which I've lost, there you go. Put that in his finger and then close the hand and then you can have him holding the torch. Really nice concept, makes him hold it really well. So, and again, you can do that on both hands. Now, the only problem I've got is the spear, which he gave me. Um, if I show you that, hopefully you can see that the peg is just a bit too big to go in that hole. Um, I might try and trim it down, to be honest, so then it will fit. But you can get him... What I have done is basically line the notch up between the two claws like that. And it gives him something to grip hold of. Obviously with two hands it's easy to hold. But he doesn't close his hand fully tight enough to really hold it. You can maybe do that. But it's very top heavy. While I've got the spear here, this side here, side um, away from the peg, see this peg, has this really cool face sculpted into it. Some nice detail on the blade, some nice paint apps as well, like a bit rusted maybe. And this side just has some detail on the blade but not the face. Handle and the peg. This thing's really big. I'll, I'll measure it in a bit. Then Soul Reaver. This thing is phenomenal. I was really blown away by this. And it's massive as well. It really is. Quite, quite big. Like, look at that. It's like almost the length of my hand. But it's cool. It's very translucent. And, um, see my finger going through it. It's got the shape of a blade, but kind of like a curling blade. It's like there's a flat end at the tip, which also has a blade bit, and then it kind of like curls around. So it's almost like uh, it's been twisted. And then the handle, obviously, it's got those iconic um, guard, which the actual real soul blade has. Very cool. And then it comes with this curly bit which just wraps around his arm. This doesn't clip in or anything, it just literally sits there. But it sits there quite nicely and it doesn't really get in the way of anything. It's got quite a bit of applied to it, so it's very cool. And then this is the one that came with the BBI torch. I'll grab the other one for comparison. Definitely think this one is the nicer of the two. But again, I'm really happy that he included this. He really didn't have to do that. Very, very cool. And then a close up on those wings. Necker really went to town with the detail on these. Really is just amazing. I'll show you these ones. They've got a bit of silver paint on the back of them. Not a massive fan of that. That's about my own little growth bar. They've got some nice detail through them, um, nice holes. And then the posability on them is just outstanding. Now, while I've got him here to attach his hands. We'll grab the soul weaver one, sink on a ball peg, so firm gentle pressure, pop that goes on, grab the soul weaver coil, just loop that over his arm like that, then grab the soul weaver, make sure the bigger part is facing into his hand so it kind of just rests over there as it goes on like that, and then for this hand we'll have the hinge one, again firm, 
Camouflage claws, they're quite spiky. And if I grab that torch, put that in his finger, which is really hard to do at this angle. There we go, got it in now. So as you can see, get me some really, really decent poses. My original plan when I first saw this figure online, just have him with these only, because then he had the articulation if you want to get him into a punch thing, and just put the other ones in storage somewhere. But no, you cannot get him to hold the Soul Reaver with this hand, which is a shame. But it's not the end of the world. Just look at that, so blown away about it. I love the dark blue they chose to use, it just looks really cool. I don't know if you saw on the close up, there's a lot of paint in the actual highlighting of his muscles. Okay, just uh, while I was there, I wanted to talk about the the choices when I said earlier, I, I forgot to mention, which is really bad because I forgot to mention this in my uh, dark side review, but um, when I first posted up about the dark side, I said, who? what should I do? And my buddy at Hulk Smash Productions 1, who gave me a big shout out in his video, uh, he, he was the one that actually chose to do the dark side. I gave him the choice because we've been talking for a while and we get on really cool. And he chose dark side. So you have to thank him for that one. So thank you Hulk Smash Productions 1. I hope you enjoyed the review bud. And I am so sorry that I forgot to give you a shout out. But you can't really about me because when you gave me a shout out you forgot my name. It's O Splinter Snake O. I, I, I'll actually explain my name. It's literally like Splinter as in from Splinter Cell and snake as in from solid snake with an O at each end because someone else already had spin snake whoever you are curse you <laughs> size comparison time okay so Raziel stands just under seven and a quarter inches tall usual suspects Bucky Cap Ultimate Captain America Superior Spider-Man Hyperium and spider girl okay so just to show you, you can get him into some pretty decent poses and he does hold his spear okay even without the modification i'm going to do for it so that's pretty cool so let's go over articulation okay for articulation Razio has a ball it's kind of a peg in the head but you can go back that much and forward like that much uh, you can pivot side to side on it and you can rotate it around 360 degrees and it doesn't get hindered at all by his scarf. His shoulders are on ball hinges they can go around 360 degrees there. It's slightly difficult when you go higher up because although this is a pliable it is a bit thick so you might have a bit of difficulty there but you can go around 360 degrees. The arm can come out that high so not all the way but still pretty decent and then there's a bicep rotation of 360 degrees single bend in the elbow of just that so about 90 degrees then the wrists are on ball hinges so they can go down that much up that much due to the sculpture you won't get much more you can go down that much and up that much but then you can rotate around 360 degrees if you work with the sculpt now the hands I've got equipped are the articulate ones so each finger can bend from there to there same on the other side he has a ball in the torso for a diaphragm joint so you can go from left to right like that and then he can go forward that much back that much I kind of would prefer a bit more but I'm okay with it and then you can rotate 360 degrees at that same joint nothing in the abs nothing in the waist and then this is my gripe he has wide angled hips Grrr. I can't really show you the actual peg itself because it's kind of really well hidden which is good I like that to be honest you can't really see it um, but it does literally go, if I show you the angle of his leg, it's like that. Which does make you have to do the twisty, twerky kind of thing a bit annoying. Especially as if you see on the side of his hip ball, there's part of the bone, I think it's bone, on there, sculpted. So that's a bit annoying. Um, so that's like my major gripe with this figure. But to be honest, I kind of knew it was coming. But anyway... Working with the hips, he has a Spartan of that. And then you can do a split of just that. That's a bit disappointing if you ask me. I kind of wish you'd go a bit further. But no, it doesn't want to. So you can rotate at the joint up there, and then you can rotate at the actual thigh if you can work with it. It's very difficult, but you can go around 360 degrees at the thigh. 
single bent in the knee of just that, which is good, but I kind of wish it had a double knee joint, to be honest, but I think this one figure might be a bit too old for that. Double knee joints weren't really that popular when Neck started doing this extra articulation. So, I don't know, I just think it would have definitely worked well for this one. And then the foot is on a ball, so you can go up that far, down that far, and pivot from there to there, and then you can rotate from there to there. Another gripe of mine. Do you know what? I'm mistaken. It's not on a ball. There is actually a hinge in there, but you get from there to there on that hinge. His boot cover thing is just too thick. It allows no real movement in there whatsoever. That's the other gripe. So I have three gripes of this figure in the ankle, the knees, and the angle of the hips. It's a shame. If they made these teacup, these double, and these a bit better ranged, or maybe make this a softer plastic, this would be the perfect figure for me. Okay, so, as you can see, I can still get him in some great poses. Just wish I could have a bit more hunched over. Okay, and for the box, as you can see, it says Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. You got a pretty cool picture of the background with some glyphs up the back there. And then some like rocks there. And then on the front, it says Raziel, player select, with some more glyphs going around. Material plane, I'll explain that in a second. Featuring 24 points of articulation. More glyphs, glyph, 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 glyph. And it says here you get a torch, two sets of hands, Soul Reaver Wraith Blade. An interchangeable shroud. I don't know what that is, unless you're talking about a scarf thing. It says interchangeable, it says to me there's more than one, but in every picture I've seen, he only has the one. If you get the spectral plane Raziel, his shroud or scarf is open at a bit more angle. Redeem, destroy, pawn, messiah. Interesting. Soul Reaver. So there's the difference between the two. So this one's got a translucent and a bit more glowy. Looks very cool to be honest. I wouldn't mind that to be honest. And then here it says here, both figures have 24 points of articulation. So we have a wraith blade, interchangeable shroud. I don't know where it says that, unless it basically means you can interchange them two. I don't know. Two sets of hands and a torch. It's very cool. Naker online. It's a nice little box. These also came with it. Now I don't know if this is from the uh, Blue Box Interactive one, I believe it is. But he's done a photocopy and a scan of it, so I have a paper version and a card version. Unfortunately this one got a bit crinkled in my box when I was storing it. So that's a bit of a shame, I'll have to kind of iron that out if I can. Uh, but it's kind of cool, has a bit of a background. This one's also a bit cold. But it's, it's nice, a lot of detail on it. Anyway guys, that's my review. I'd like to apologise here saying that for some reason my camera kept doing wavy lines going throughout and I have no idea why. I tried changing various lighting to see if I could get rid of it and it didn't, even though for some reason it's not doing it now. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I apologise for the wavy lines. It's never done this for me before and I just could not get rid of them, so I am so sorry. Um, right, final thoughts on the figure. Blown away. Just blown away. Um, Maybe because I'm a bit biased because I'm a fan of the game, but no, I really think ne NECA just did an amazing job on this guy. If you see this figure, pick him up. If you're a fan of the series, you have to own this figure. Um, it's made me want to get the Kane one, even though I don't think the NECA Kane one is that good. I'm probably going to go for the BBI one, although it's more pricey. Someone of mine said they had one on sale, and if I have the DOSH, we shall see. Looking into that. But... Almost for this guy, if you can see him, get him. Um, good luck getting him cheap, but I think he's worth the penny. I, I'm, I'm actually comfortable with with what I paid for him. Uh, I, maybe not comfortable, but still more than I kind of would have liked. My only kind of question now is, do I want to edit, alter his hips? And I kind of do, but at the same time, I don't want to touch it because it costs so much money. But we shall see. I probably will end up ruining it. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, anyway, guys, that is my review. As per usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop me a link down below. Please subscribe and leave any comments that you'd like to add about this figure. Any questions, inquiries, anything, I'd love to hit you up. And uh, I try my best to always get back to all my comments. Any other inquiries, shoot them at me. We can discuss anything. I'm open to that. And, yeah, as per usual, guys, thanks for watching. Keep collecting, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.
And for those of you who haven't played, and for those of you, ah, oh, so thank you, Hulk Smash. Uh, blah 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 blah. Go and play my games. Play them. Go play them now. <laughs> that is not what he sounds like at all. I can't really show you the peg because it's really what right, far. Blah blah blah. blah. So you haven't played. Play, blah, blah, I cannot speak. Nothing in nah. Nothing in the the weight. Oh, and then you can rotate it around 460 degrees. And you can rotate it around three hundred. And you can rotate it around four hundred. Oh my god! 